Damn it, Sauron, I told you I am not a mutant. Damn it, get off me. I just want to review you. Ah! Hello and welcome to a Smurp video and today we are looking at the Builder figure Sauron. Now this figure is absolutely massive in terms of wingspan and size. So first of all I'm going to take a close up of the wings. So very cool. I like the fact that there's little like splits in here like he's um, been in some sort of scrap. Very very nice. And this bit, try and do it. You can bring that in as well. And then that obviously goes onto the arm, which is part of the piece. Very, very cool. And it's exactly the same with the other wing. You can then bring it up and down. Very, very cool. So um, very happy we we've been talking about certain builder figures that we wanted for years on on some of the facebook pages that i'm on so one that always comes up is sauron and certainly nimrod so to get sauron is absolutely fantastic and i really hope that we continue to get new builder figures we've all already had windigo this year which is very nice now there is the back of the wings so I like how that goes around like that and curves round. And it's got this little bit at the bottom, which is kind of cool. Uh, we'll see if that limits his um, mobili mobilization when you want to pose the arms, etc. So the back is what you would imagine to be this kind of um, scaly kind of dinosaur lizard type. Because that's the kind of similar creature he was to a pterodactyl. He has a very nice tail, and the tail is actually on this kind of point, so you can bring it up as well, like so. A really, really beautiful tail, absolutely fantastic with this um, nice finished tail, which I think is really cool. Um, one thing that I said in some of my reviews, I was worried about the top being too top heavy. However, he does his legs, not at the moment really do hold up also well. if you really want you can also take the bottoms off um i'm gonna be honest i did it by mistake <laughs> i'm trying to fit his leg in um it's got a little clip here and a little clip there so if you like your sauron nude you can do that personally i'm going to keep his pants on because he has nothing poor fella so even though the wings are really big um the legs do hold the figure really well and um as i was trying to say i was a little bit worried that we you may end up with a figure that was falling over all the time but if you i mean even if you have to get the wings into this sort of position it holds really nicely and um, the little kind of um belt human i guess he's human kind of possessions or whatever you want to call it i'm um, still on there show that he is intelligent and he's not just a a, a brainless pterodactyl half human or whatever you want to call him mute uh, the legs is what you expect as well very scaling some very very nice detail on the feet in terms of claws etc so and the body obviously and the head um, one thing i was a bit glad they, they've given you some sort of leeway with the head that you can kind of pull it forward and backwards etc but they haven't allowed for this bit to go right up which is a bit a bit unfortunate because just just the, even a little bit i know there's probably a risk with it then you know you could have got him into some really nice nice flight poses so to speak is what i'm probably trying to get okay, at okay so finally we get on to the head which is beautiful you've got this beautiful uh mouthpiece which um has some really great detail you know you can see the muscles in there the teeth the tongue moves up and down oh. So some really nice thought there, okay. and the top is just perfection in terms of how the pterodactyl head, beak, and eyes look. Absolutely fantastic. There has been some real, real hardcore thought into this figure. When I first saw it, I, I thought, hmm, I wasn't that excited. But now that I've got him and, I, and I've slowly been putting him together, absolutely phenomenal. This, this build of figure was... Um, 
definitely the pick and for the amount the wave that actually went with um six figures i think it was free deadpool free x-men it wasn't a bad price and I, i'm kind of surprised that because i was worried that you got this this nice builder figure maybe they would have bumped it up just a little bit but it, it went a lot cheaper than i would have thought and in fact you can still get all of the figures in this way for about 20 quid at present if you're looking just to finish off our close look at the figure here is the hands and they are very cool um, the claws are kind of built in it looks really nice i really dig it so let's get this figure with some x-men so um something you always want to do you want to get a wolverine next to sauron and i mean if you look how well sauron is holding up because of the tail piece i guess and then the wings not the wings are still in the air and it's all reliant on the tail and the legs and he's got a wolverine on top of him you know that that tells you how much you can do with this figure and usually I, i'm going to be honest I, I sometimes struggle to get in poses okay so for this um we've got some classic x-men colossus is being whacked down by sauron's wing we got cyclops radio optic blast got nightcrawler uh, poured it in via a stand we got storm at the back on a stand and then we got wolverine trying to cut chunks however sauron's having none of it but um these are the sort of things that i think you could do with sauron now that's pretty cool on the shelf um sometimes the stands i'm not a fan of stands i never have been but to get certain figures you know that fly etc sometimes you don't really have a choice but um it, it it works for me and here sorry here is a comparison with um the builder figure apocalypse that we got also this year so um his knees are bent there but he, he is a little bit bigger i think let me try and get them a little bit closer yeah, in together. terms of height size um he is certainly a little bit bigger um the legs aren't straight on my apocalypse but there there is a just a slight height difference if that makes sense but um, you get these guys onto your shelf together, they're going to look awesome. So all in all, the Builder figure Sauron is absolutely amazing. It, it is my favorite Builder figure this year. Without a shadow of a doubt, I don't think there's any contents, contest, to be honest with you. And I'm so glad that he is going to be on my shelf looking awesome. So tell me if you like this figure, whether you're going to get him, whether you don't like him. And why you don't like him, etc., etc. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Smurd P. And embrace the geekiness. Goodbye. <laughs>